Hello learners of all ages, my name is Mr. Montgomery, I teach 4th and 5th grade math, and today we're going to be talking about equivalent fractions changing tenths to hundredths. Now before we jump into our lesson, it's very important to understand that fractions, decimal points, and percentages are all kind of related when it comes to math families. We'll talk about that later on in this chapter, but the first thing that we have to understand is, well, tenths. Anything divided into 10 pieces, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, is divided up into tenths. And we talked about equivalent fractions in previous chapters, where we figured out that certain fractions are equal to each other, but they might look a little bit differently numerically. This is also the case today. So right now I have three tenths, but just like in previous chapters, what if I divide up my tenths into something higher? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, instead of three pieces all filled in, I now have 30 pieces all filled in, and I have 10 times 10, which is 100. So three tenths is equal to 30 hundredths. Notice how I added one zero to my numerator and one zero to my denominator. Which also means, if we're going beyond that, I could also say that 3 hundredths, I added one more zero to 30, is equal to, I'm gonna add one more zero to my 100 to equal 1,000. So 300 thousandths is also equal to 3 tenths. Now what if my directions give me a fraction that looks like this, and they want me to write it in hundredths? Well, right now it's in tenths, because my denominator is 10. I'm trying to get it to hundredths. So I know that my denominator for my equivalent fraction has to be 100. Now, how did I get from 10 to 100? I multiplied by 10. Or since we're working with base tens, I start off with one zero, I got two zeros. I added one zero. It's similar to adding or multiplying times 10. So whatever I do to the denominator, I also have to do to the numerator. Two times 10 is 20. So. The equation, or not equation, the, so the fraction that is equivalent to two tenths is 20 hundredths. You also might come across a number line that looks very similar to this. It starts off with the value of zero hundredths and zero tenths on this side, and 10 tenths and 100 hundredths on the other side. And it might have a dot somewhere in the middle here. Well, we can surely count to where the dot is. One, two, three, four. What would that be in hundredths? Yeah, it would be 40 hundredths. And what would it be in tenths? One, two, three, four, four tenths. For most students, they like to figure out what it is in tenths first. As you can see, one, two, three, four, it would match up with what would be in the numerator spot. Starting with hundredths might be a little bit challenging, but you can do this. All right, my fourth grade friends, if we take a look at page 199 in our workbook, you will be seeing that we're doing practice problems number three and number six. The directions say, write the equivalent fractions in hundredths. So you're going from six tenths to, and moving it to hundredths. For number six, you're going from eight tenths and moving it to hundredths. If you have any questions on how equivalent fractions and renaming tenths as hundredths work, let me know when you come to class tomorrow.